Hey, MTG Mapai here, and let's kick off with the Creators Challenge 2 judging, and we are doing Pack Wars, but not this kind of boring uh, commercial Pack Wars. We're doing the exciting custom Pack Wars that you all came up with. Hey guys, with. Matt from Total MTG here, and I'm one of your resident judges on Creators. So I've looked at Challenge 2 videos. Let's have a look at what I thought of them. Hey guys, I'm MP Numbers, and welcome to 2018. Now, what does 2018 mean for creators? Well, for one, we're going to get through Season 2. We ended 2017 on a bit of a cliffhanger, having set Challenge 2. Due to a few little hiccups in the way everything's working, we haven't been able to get through to giving the feedback yet, but here we are. So the next couple of weeks, you're going to see the results for Challenge 2, including the first elimination. You're going to see Challenge 3, you're going to see the videos and the feedback on that one, pretty much straight one after another. And then again, you're going to see Challenge 4, you're going to see the videos, you're going to see the results and the second elimination. And when we get up to, you're probably even going to see Challenge 5 as well. So everything is moving in the background. We do apologise if videos haven't come out, but look, let's just dive into it. Let's go talk about Challenge 2. It has been a little while, so to quickly refresh your memory, we challenged all our creators to make their own booster wars, mini masters, pack wars, whatever you want to call it. Now, if you wanted to see exactly what was going on, both the challenge and all the videos will be in a playlist linked down below. So if you've checked out all the videos, you want to know what we think. Let's jump in. Okay, let's start with Project Peanuts. Now, Peanuts decided to go with an Iron Man twist to his booster wars challenge, which I've got to admit, I love playing Iron Man. In saying that, the fact that I love it means it's not really unique. It's not like new, it's just basically putting an existing thing and, and putting it under camera. Let's have a look at the recording. The video was framed very well. We got a good shot of the gameplay. We were able to see exactly what was happening. I think the extra efforts to try and show the cards, not really necessary. We were, we were worrying more about the game rather than the cards we were seeing. While recording, I also noticed there was a, a pretty big issue with the background noise. You, you definitely hear people talking in the background. Sometimes it can't be avoided, sometimes there are ways to get around it, and it, it, it was definitely noticeable. And other than that, I thought that it, it didn't really seem like you were trying to explain something. It just kind of was as you were going. There was no real structure and no explanation of what was happening. Look, uh, in, in saying all that, I really loved the video, and especially the ending. Having the cars pull over you was a good chance to have a little laugh. Project Peanuts. Um, for this one, the concept was interesting, if not painful. And it, it was painful to watch. The, the foil card really spoke to me. But I felt like I was watching a genuine game, and I really enjoyed that. The only thing I would say is that at times when you were holding cards up to the camera to give us a look at what they were doing, uh, they were correcting the lighting, which made it quite hard to read. So maybe like an edited overlay would have been better for that. But overall, um, solid concept, if not one that wounded me personally. And I'm not sure I'll recover. But yeah, thumbs up. Project Peanut, what a fun, destructive game, my friends. Um, I'm not sure whether I could play it. Um, I don't know if I could just rip cards, but hey, it seemed fun. The lighting was really good, I like the way you explained it, it made me laugh. Just an all-round good video, dude. Breakfast with Nerds. Now, I really loved your idea. Being able to explore the whole plane by playing with the whole set rather than just one booster here and there. The downside of this one, I think, it's, it's probably the most obvious one, is that it was way too long. I, th I think it's one of those things that we could have really trimmed it up, montaged it a little bit down to maybe a 10-minute video. Uh, having a full 36-minute video uh, was, was just tricky, and I don't know how many viewers would stay around to watch the whole thing. Um, in saying that, there were points where you did use the speed up and you did edit it together at points, and I just kind of wish there was a bit more of that. Again, your play area is really well framed. You've got the overhead camera set up perfectly, and that little box in the corner to show you guys just, just adds that little bit extra there. And the only thing that maybe retracted from this video is no background music. I know we, we kind of told you too much background music last time, but even just having a very light undertone can sometimes make the difference. The other negative I had is that Randy, it's pronounced Sata. Other than that, it was a solid explanation, a great game and a good way to, uh, to try to mix it up. Thanks. To Block Wars with Breakfast with Nerds, and I really liked this format as a way of getting 
a couple of games and evolving games out of a block of boosters basically. I really liked how you would play one game and then evolve your deck with the next set of cards and keep going rather than playing the same cards against each other. The continuing value aspect was really solid in this format. I also really liked the filming of the gameplay. I thought that was really nice and I enjoyed the overlay you put on with the uh, cards on so I could see uh, you know what you were playing what they were doing and where you were going with it and I just thought it all tied in really well especially with the whole uh, loser by breakfast thing oh and you've gone but anyway a really solid video yeah really enjoyed breakfast it with Tom nerds you two are just an absolutely amazing duo I really enjoy your content I thought the match was really good I love the view putting the cards up the little um, pictures you know the own camera second camera in the um, top corners as well was really, really good. The only thing I would say with the music um, sort of overran a bit when you were talking, so just a little bit of editing maybe quiet in that. But all in all, I thought it was a cracking video. I loved your editing skills and the game looked really fun as well. Now you're MTG. Mate, I definitely asked you for a unique concept and you 100% delivered the most unique concept. Taking it away from actually playing a game and doing something different, yeah, it's, it hits the challenge and it's funny, which I really liked. Um, you definitely are finding again that you're going above and beyond for editing. You probably have the most solid editing in the competition and you just bring that out again and again with your experience. And to be honest, I really don't have much more to say on the video than that. It was a great concept. I really loved the way that you brought it together by adding multiple different videos into one, something that I can't even imagine how to do, to be completely honest. Um, and the way it was explained, it was a lot of fun, but it still hit the challenge, hit the concept that we set for you. Really appreciate this video. I hope everyone loved it as much as I did. Card art game from your MTG or the card game. I, I don't know. Anyway, I thought this was a well thought out concept of useless proportions only superseded by the guess the flavor text author game coming next year, I'm sure. But anyway, I thought it was beautifully edited. It was really funny. and I just loved it. I loved I loved most things about it. The audio was great, editing good, solid concept. Could have done with maybe a smidge more gameplay, but I feel like it's a game that is suffered through, so perhaps gameplay not important for this one. But yeah, uh, two thumbs up from me for this for one. MTG, you had me laughing within 20 seconds. I think you've got, you know, career in comedy, dude. I just think you're absolutely hilarious. The game was funny. The little characters were funny. It was just an all-round great video for me, and it certainly made me laugh. MTG Canuck. Mate, I, the first thing I'm going to say is I really love the intro. I love the energy, the charisma, the, everything you're bringing into the intros of your videos lately. I kind of wish it would push through a bit more because it does come a point where it's like, intro, video. And it, I just, I, I don't, again, I know from personal chats it's something you're working on, but I, I really definitely appreciate the, what you're doing in the intro effort. To start with a negative, I think the biggest thing that attracts from this video is the complexity of your format. Um, I think you could definitely trim two, three, four of, of your rules and still make it a unique concept that doesn't go over the top and can be easily played. I, like, I know if I was going to sit down and play this at my local shop, I would need to have a guide for at least the first couple of turns, which is just, just a bit too much if, in, in my personal opinion. Um, in saying that, I, I really love that you've picked up a lot of the feedback from the first challenge. The, the, you've, uh, you've used a much better font in the video, it's much easier to read. I love the way that you, you're speeding up the video and putting some music in to make it kind of go through bits things a bit, pace it a bit better. Um, and the way it's recorded was really well. The only downside I have, and obviously more of a personal thing, is that the play area, sharing a play mat, creating everything into one when you're trying to play a game, just, uh, just a bit awkward. Um, obviously, as always, you get a couple of extra cute kid points. Always great to see Canuck Jr. in there. And the only other thing I mentioned is there were probably a few too many times where you stopped to explain a card, to, to walk through something that maybe didn't need to be shown on camera because, again, it doesn't really relate to the format, more of the card. But anyway, thanks for the video. Really appreciate it. Uh, definitely, as always, seeing improvements. Really, really happy to see that, mate. So we have MTG Canuck Pack Wars, and I really loved 
the concept and the work you put in behind this and how this format was put together and you definitely had the most comprehensive set of rules and guidance and recap for them that I really appreciated because it was a complicated setup but you explained it really well to the point where we were able to pilot some of it here uh, which was great fun. The only thing mechanics one is, and I know we're not supposed to talk about the mechanics properly, but um, if you rolled really well at the start and got lots of things onto the battlefield, there was no recovery in game for that. You knew immediately you'd lost if you were facing down against someone who'd done well. Um, so maybe there could have been like a sort of recovery aspect that you could be rolling at the end of term to see if you could like get more free stuff onto the, the battlefield. But other than that, I mean, uh, solid format. Some of the audio, um, when we were moving between sections, so when we were going from gameplay to explaining to the rules summary, the audio was a little bit uh, sort of off, muffly, just not in line with the previous audio. That was the only thing that stood out with me. And of course, when you introduce, you know, your wonderful children, they just stole the show. They really did. I'm sorry, but MTG Canuck Jr., big thumbs up from MTG me. MTG Canuck Man, your editing skills are getting so much better from the first video I ever watched on your channel. Your skills are just getting so good. As each as each challenge goes on, as each video I watch, you're just getting really good, man. The game looked very, very in-depth. It was quite a long video, um, but it did seem fun. Love having your little lad in there. It was a good video, dude. And uh, like I said, your editing skills are getting so much better. Food time. Commander variant of Booster Wars. Now, this is, this is a simple one, and people love Commander. Now, so similar to Peanuts, it's not a completely unique idea, but it's a but I, but I like it because it's something that is very popular. You yourself are a commander player and commander co content creator, so it fits with your style, it fits with your brand. A couple of quick questions I had about the format itself. What, what happens if your rare is a land or a spell or something that can't be a commander? I don't play enough commander to know exactly how it works, but I'm pretty sure those are in the rules. Um, on the video, I think a very smart play to use your voiceover instead of using the live audio. Obviously, I don't know what the live audio sounded like, but adding your voice over the top and just having the video, definitely a positive. I, I liked the way that you finished the game when, the, when it started to get boring and summarised it rather than playing us through the whole thing which would have taken way too long. Um, I really like the way that you put in pros and cons of, of different alternate options to give people ideas, to give people suggestions. Uh, the only kind of downsides I have here is with your lighting, it's very glary on the, on the cards and on the table, obviously playmats can help that. On the cards, it's a bit tricky and that's probably one of the hardest things to work with when you're working with live magic. Um, and finally, the, the writing that you have in the middle there with the life totals needs an outline, just a nice little outline on there just so it's not running into the cards as we can see right there. Otherwise, again, like the video, really liked your ideas of bringing your own brand in and, and mixing in with your current things. Great to see. Thanks, mate. The Mini Masters from Food Time. I thought this was a pretty solid concept. I really liked the aspect of you would get to play your rare with a big focus on your rare. But obviously this skews the format slightly to somebody who gets that bomb rare and just sort of dominates the game. And you're sat there like, oh, well, I never stood a chance. But anyway, mechanics wise, that's, that's not important. Um... I thought the rules were well, you know, put together such as they were, and there was some gameplay. The only thing I'd say is I found the voiceover a little bit flat. I'm not sure. I'd, I like watching live gameplay, but gameplay with voiceover just didn't seem to cut it for me, especially in a format like this. I think uh, to help that, maybe uh, when you were saying, you know, what you were playing, you could have put up on the screen a little overlay with what the card was so that we could see the text of the card. For those of us like me who aren't familiar or quite as familiar with some of the cards yet, uh, that would have helped following the format and maybe given the commentary a bit more colour. But other than that, I thought it was a, a well put together video with a solid concept. So yeah, thumbs up. So the second to last video I watched was Food Times. You've incorporated Commander, I knew you would. It's just, it was really fun. Uh, I thought the game looked really fun, the way you were playing it, explaining it. The lighting for me was a little bit bright at the top, so I couldn't really see the cards. So it would have been nice maybe to have the cards coming up on the side, something like that. But you did explain the game very well. I liked the running commentary, and it was a nice video, and dude. Finally, whole box and dice. For one, really loved the slide at the start with the introduction and the, the summary of the ideas. Um, I also like that you've got the, the basic setup. I know you used it for a few other videos, but you can see the cards. Everything's clear. There's no glare. On the downsides, the challenge was to actually play a game, have an opponent. You didn't quite do that. We saw a bit of gold fishing and a bit of basic instructions, but didn't quite get there on hitting the challenge. 
I really like your concept. Probably one of the better ways to include the lands out of all of our competitors today. Um, and otherwise, it was, it was a very solid format, one that was easy enough to pick up, simple enough to play, um, and seems like a bit of fun as well. Finally, Coops, don't be that guy that sleeves for pack wars. No, nobody wants to be that guy. It's, they're just cards. It's fine. And whole box and dice pack wars. This one, I really liked how simple the concept seemed initially, but how tactical the gameplay potentially could be. So with the communal land pool, and there only being three offs, and you sort of trying to get into the head of your opponent and sort of being like, well, I know you need, you know, I have a feeling you need those two swamps, but I'm going to take one and sort of ruin that plan. And the small hand size as well really makes it quite complicated to anticipate what's coming and do you try and build on what will happen in the future or what you have in your hand now. I just love the level of gameplay you could achieve from a single pack of pack wars. I thought it was brilliant. Um, I would have liked to have seen a bit more gameplay. sort of. Thing. I would have been really interested to see how a game of it actually planned out against, you know, an opponent. But... It was a solid format, a solid concept, and I really liked the the communal land pool. Aspect. I thought that was a great solution to the whole how do you deal with with lands in uh, pack wars. So yeah, two thumbs up from me. So the last video I watched was whole box and dice, Coops man. Nice, nice video. Shame you didn't get someone to play against. That was a bit. I would have seen the you know the gameplay a little bit better. Your editing skills, your transitions were very good. The audio when you were explaining your game was good as well. Uh, I do like your stuff, man. Nice video. Keep up the good work, all of you. So that's our feedback for Challenge 2. Now, same as Challenge 1, all three judges have given a score for 10 points each for concept, recording, and editing. The total potential score of 90. And our winner for this week on 75 points and safe from elimination is your MTG. In second place, just behind him on 72 points, was MTG Canuck who is also safe from elimination. Now, our other four competitors had a score ranging from 70 down to 59, and they are all up for elimination. But if you remember, in challenge one, your MTG also won and got an advantage. His advantage is that he gets to save one of those four people. So let's have a chat with Thyre and see who he wants to save from elimination. All right, what's going on guys? Thyre here and uh... Good news, I won the second challenge of the Creator Series, so I'm uh, super happy about that, That's it feels really good. Uh, I did like how my video ended up after all, uh, but that means I get to save someone uh, because I also won the last one, that's why I get to save someone. Um, so I have chosen to save food time, and I have a couple of reasons for this. Uh, the first reason is that he has the smallest channel of us, so I think he really needs the potential promotion that the creator series gives uh, getting the retweets getting the shares and everything I think that's very important for his channel because I think he makes great videos I also think he um, last challenge made a fantastic video I think it was the perfect length and everything and uh, everything so so that was that was really good I think he deserves a chance to just be saved because of that because he did so, so good also the his video uh, he made now also had really really good audio and I did like the length of the video as well because I can't sit through a 30 minute video uh, on my schedule, you know. So I like those under 15 minute videos. I think uh, the voiceover thing he, he did was really, really good. And that's why I've chosen to say food time. So congrats, buddy. And uh, I hope to see more great videos from you um, in the future. All right, bye guys. So that leaves us with Breakfast with Nerds, Project Peanuts, and Whole Box and Dice Up for Elimination. All the competitors have been given the chance to vote for who they believe should be eliminated and why. Let's check out the votes. The first vote is for Project Peanuts based off video quality. The second vote is for Project Peanuts based off video quality. The third vote is for Whole Box and Dice as a strategic vote. The fourth vote is for Project Peanuts, a strategic vote. The fifth vote is for Project Peanuts. Again, a strategic vote. And that's a majority vote, being four to one and one, and one no vote. So that's challenge two. Another win for your MTG and Project Peanuts, unfortunately our first eliminated contestant. Thanks for watching. Please don't forget to check out all the videos for the challenge in the links below. Also, make sure to hit that subscribe button. We've still got seven more challenges before the end of this series.
And finally, if you really enjoying the series and you do want to support, we do have a Patreon over at patreon.com where we've got some pretty cool rewards for people who might be interested in helping us out.